dream and destiny. This is our calling and this is the essence of our life on earth. If somebody would ask me, why do you live? What's the purpose of your life? What's the meaning of your life? I would simply say, God has a dream with my life and that dream became my dream and the dream of my life joined with God's dream for my life so we are working together to fulfill the dream of God for my life and for our life together. Now, uh, when uh, the father Jacob gave that tunic of many colors as a badge of recognition to Joseph, that stirred the not good feelings in his breath, brother's heart. So they started hating him because of that. But and the Bible says that they couldn't even say a friendly word to him because of that. They were hating him very much. In this kind of atmosphere, your question came, why did Joseph share the dreams with his family when he knew the atmosphere? He, oh, he knew that him telling the dream that he had that his, his brothers would come and bow down before him. Him telling this kind of dream, that would stir negative feelings. It would inflame, literally, their hatred against him. And still, he came and shared the dream with the family. What reason could Joseph have? Usually, we protect our own life. We don't expose ourselves, especially when we know that some people have different kind of negative feelings about us, we try to be cautious. Joseph just stepped in the midst of his family and very enthusiastically started saying, I had a dream, brothers. I had a dream. He was not literally paying any kind of attention to the fact that his brethren might misinterpret his dream. No, not at all. He knew where the dream was coming from. He felt that he'd had a kind of saving tone and that God found a way to save this family and he shared very enthusiastically with all his brothers. Like Acts chapter 4, verse 20. When the Sanhedrin told the apostles, stop talking about Jesus. Don't go everywhere. You turn the world upside down. You fill Jerusalem with this name. And they said, yeah, we understand what you say, but uh, they said, we cannot but speak the things which we have seen and heard. The gospel is so beautiful. The love of God constrained their hearts that they wanted to share this kind of love with everybody in the whole Jerusalem and then in the whole world. This, is, this was behind Joseph telling his dream to his brothers. Nobody would have literally needed much effort to understand the reaction. The Bible said that they hated him even more because of that. But how can you not tell? I was in a train and the doctor told me that he hates me for sharing the gospel with the people there. I thank him and I ask him, what if you would find out the cure for cancer, doctor? What would you do? He said, well, I would publish it at a World Health Organization and everywhere. This is what I'm doing right now. I told him. You cannot, you cannot keep it for yourself. When you know that uh, your brother will be so helped and so blessed with the good news. The Psalm 45 verse 1. My heart brings forth good accounts and tell the deeds of the king. It was not about Joseph. Joseph didn't say, do you know how I dreamed myself? I was in your midst and you were coming down. He never mentioned his name. No, he didn't. Because the center of his presentation was God. And the psalm says, uh, oh, 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 uh, I'll bring forth good accounts and tell the deeds of the king. My tongue is the pen have already scribe, says the psalmist. The most sincere and, uh, and good willing intention was behind Joseph telling the dream 
and it was so badly misunderstood and misinterpreted. Didn't God know what will happen? Yes, why didn't God prevent Joseph from sharing the dream with the brethren? No, God didn't have the intention to prevent him. God even exposed him to the danger and protected him in the danger because the dream had to be told. They have to know about the dream because at the time when the dream will be fulfilled, they will say, see for how long God knew what will happen in these kind of days. Uh, Joseph got a very deep impression during the dream. And sometimes the impression and the feeling of our hearts is the only one, the only thing that stays with us. So he was so impressed. And of course, the hatred of his brothers and their negative reaction and their rejection. And, and they, they wouldn't even speak a, a, a friendly word to him. All this together could not quench his flame of love for God. God was working in his family. And he was ready to suffer anything and everything just to see God's work being fulfilled in his heart, in his uh, home. The brethren must not think the father has a plan to... Uh, the brethren might have thought in their hearts, maybe the father, I mean Jacob, has a secret plan, a conspiracy with Joseph to elevate him over us. And they started hating him even more. But don't get discouraged. You might be misinterpreted many times. But as long as you are faithful to the message of God, to the expression of his love for all those around you, an expression that comes through you in their lives, as long as you are faithful to the love of God, don't be afraid. The misinterpretation will be turned into admiration when the dream will be fulfilled. Yes, they needed to know the dream in advance, and they have to keep all these words in their hearts. See, the second time when he shared the dream, even the father reacted negatively. But we are going to see this in our next meeting in the dream and destiny. May God give us the love of sharing the good news with everybody around us. Thank you.